five. Let's talk about the atmosphere, though. Maybe, and maybe the Texans fans might take a little bit of blame here, maybe if that place was sold out, a little bit more energy. Oh. Yeah. And then he, he's able to make that thing about an inch further, yeah. which then bounces through yep. as opposed to bouncing back. That's an embarrassment. I didn't know that was happening down there. Brand new quarterback who's electrifying and saying everything awesome. Brand new head coach who's a legend yeah. down there. Team's playing good. They can't fill up the barn, JJ. Is that real? I didn't know they're that coming, was. They're coming around. They're coming around. They've had a very rough couple of years, and they've been kind of – they've they've – they supported the team through some tough times, and the tough times lasted for a little while. So um, they're starting to come back around. CJ has asked the crowd to, to show up. I've now asked the crowd to show up, and I think uh, I think they're coming around. I think that they're starting to understand what they have. And like I said, uh, I think it was a week or so ago, like you have all the things that you could possibly want. You have the hometown legend as a coach. You have the young rookie quarterback in MVP conversations. Like You can't really ask for much more. Go out there and support these guys and, and give them your backing. Yeah, because I've gone on the record numerous times, like Houston, loudest, best place we played yeah. every single year. So in my mind, it's like great fan base, great fan base, great fan base, always will be, always is. And then they start sending those photos out, and it's like, wait a minute, that top tier is like, they're tarping it like it's old school Jacksonville. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. a lot of no. seats. A lot no, of seats up no. there. Red jerseys no. on too. Show me a picture. Show me a picture. Well, I don't. No, you're, you're, no. This is. Don't speak on Houston like this. You're lying. I'm just telling you what Houston's doing to Houston. Okay, let I, me see I, it. I, let me see it. No, Connor, no. somebody get a picture. He's lying. They took a photo. I saw full sections of seats. Nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nope. stop. Nope. It might nope. have been before the game started. Then maybe somebody was painting a narrative. But the photos I saw was like, pfft, the next step is. Yeah. Let's put a Texans tarp right over no, top of that thing no, no, so that we can say no, we sold are, this out. You so are, I'm telling no, you. No, you're lying. Nope. JJ, it can't happen. That's what I'm saying, though. It's a great fan base. That's like, in my mind, it's like one of the best in the entire NFL. Yeah. And I start seeing those photos, and I'm like, what? Excuse me? That is not how this whole thing is supposed to go. And you I got to see the photos you saw. Where was this? On, on the internet? Oh, boy. This is bad. Exactly. Yeah. Coming in. Coming in. You might have been pouring beers in England whenever this <laughs> thing was going around. Let oh. me see it. Let me see it. I got to see this. It's bad. I we're sending it in. I mean, we'll and it's I'm not waiting. it's not no, just no, the upper bowl, JJ. Let me just say, there's a few. In what the is middle. it from? When is it from? What, Sunday. Is it from Sunday. Or is it from <laughs> division? I, oh, yeah, I got it. Obviously, zoom in, Sunday. zoom in up there. Look at all those red, that, all that red there in the third section. Those are all seats. Yeah, not jerseys. A lot of empty seats. A lot, a lot of empty seats. Oh, you know what the next step is, JJ? C come on, let's revisit my conversation. I mean, that's nowhere near tarp tarping. Hold on, can we put this? Can we put it up over here, please. Should okay. be. It's JJ. Let me talk to you oh, about boy. business. It's like a TV timeout. Too. What? What? Uh, yeah. Where? Where? What part of the game are we here? Is this pregame? First no, quarter. No. Anyways, JJ, you see, business-wise, I don't want to like because you own a soccer team and everything like that, but you see all these seats here that aren't sold, Man. you could probably put those all together and probably like this entire park could just get, guess what, tarped off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. now what do you have? Well, you have a sold out stadium, but you have, I don't know what, five, six sections worth of emptiness mm. in this entire thing. This, Gross. JJ, this is disgusting. This is the, if these were red seats. I agree, seats, I, I, it's not a good look. You take all these empty seats, you could probably tarp off what this whole area yeah. at least. Yeah, that side of the stadium. And then you could just have a sellout. Every you still be able to sell out there. Yeah, yeah. JJ, you know what I mean. And then you're not what even. What are the Colts looking like? What are the Colts looking like? Sold out, top to bottom, every week. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Even whenever we sucked, sold out. <laughs> One year, whenever Peyton Manning wasn't our quarterback, and we went two and fourteen, obviously with uh, uh, Curtis Painter, what? Dan Orlovsky, Kerry yeah. Collins. What? You killed Kerry. You killed him. <laughs> I liked playing against those guys. I enjoyed them. I enjoyed them much more than luck. I, I, I would rather play against those guys than luck. Anyways, we had the winningest decade in NFL history. Peyton Manning had 10 wins every single year. How you doing? We were about eight games into that 2-14 and 14 year with no Peyton Manning. Obviously, we all found that out right before the season started. They were showing up with bags over their head. Mm -hmm. uh, like people that They were showing up, selling out the stadium, but there was like paper bags over their head, and it's like, go to Cleveland. <laughs> yeah, you, you, we, we, had, no, we had a quarterback that was the whole thing that we didn't even know was like. So Indy will show up. They're not always going to be loud or happy. No. But Indy will show be up. be there. 
Houston. That is. Can we put that back? No, that... I don't know. I, I think we're good. What's next on the agenda? Look at that. What's that's, next on the agenda? That's a full. So many seats. That's yeah. a full three rows right there. Can't happen. What happened? What happened? What's what are... going on? I don't. I don't. Yeah, that's that's that that is frustrating. There's a lot of blue seats down there too. Oh, yeah. I didn't even see the high price ones. Uh -huh. I didn't even see those ones. You had that. We might be tarping off this whole whole side. Yeah, yeah. Because look at this. There ain't even a soul up here, and this is just one quadrant. Oh, what's the other side look like? Oh no, we might be able to tarp the whole. The whole is that my oh, bobblehead oh. up there on the top right? Am I? Am I is that? I mean, there are seats available. Yeah, that is you up here, buddy. <laughs> and if you, I don't want to continue did I to bag on the, the back Houston, row. Yeah, right. I don't want to continue to bag on the Houston Texans, but this one did come broken. Remember, <laughs> yeah, this one yeah. had no. You remember, it had no bottom. They man. all did. That's why we had to put you up. All five. Oh no! That's why I had to put you up Travesty. here. I'm looking now, too. The tickets on SeatGeek are so not expensive to go to a Texans game right now. A lot of green dots. <laughs> hey, JJ, why don't you buy tex uh, Texans fans some tickets? Yeah. yeah. And give them away. I don't know, what, 30,000 of them? Yeah, yeah for 20 bucks. Uh -huh. Maybe we can fill this place up. Yeah. I remember uh, when the Pacers were at the beginning of making their run with the first the, with the group that was there whenever I was there. George and Hibbert. George, Paul, George Hill, Paul George, yeah. Roy Hibbert, mm -hmm. Lance Stevenson, mm -hmm. oh. that crew right there. Oh. I mean, they were awesome to watch. They make the playoffs, and the first round of the playoffs couldn't sell the place out. So I actually bought 5,000 tickets up in the upper bowl, and they gave me a great deal. I'm like, oh, we'll give them like for five bucks or something like that. Gave away 5,000 tickets to people. Fill the place up. Let's go. Right? Oh, yeah. And then people got to experience it. And they're like, oh, our team's good. And they're all the way back. You could do that. You could you do that. You filled the place up with 5,000 tickets? 5,000 people. They're, um, they're, upper, upper Bowl. Upper Bowl was not sold. It was not sold out for a playoff game for the Pacers. So I bought the 5,000 tickets that weren't sold out yeah. in the upper Bowl, handing them out to people. They had to make a free throw or something. They get a ticket. It was like a full thing. People get in there. They experience what the Pacers were. All of a sudden, we're back. You can do that. For the Texans. Let's go. 25,000. You you individually handed out 5,000 tickets to people? I was there, yeah. Yeah, it was a long I'm day. How, how did that, yeah, how did that go? Well, That's a lot of people. Yeah, it. at the beginning, the idea was they're going to have to earn it. And then, uh, no, you just, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're here. here. You here you showed go. up. So, yeah. so, they, so they weren't going to show up to the game anyway. Mm -hmm. And then you were like, I'm going to make it even harder. Let me make them earn the tickets they to, to show up to the game they already don't want to go to. All they had to do was make a free throw. Easy. You know, it's yep. Indiana. Everybody's born with a basketball in their hand here. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I mean? Yeah, Hoosiers. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, but too many people were missing shots until we just started. Yeah. We had some homeless people in there, obviously, right, for the smart. night. They mm -hmm. got, uh, they got hey, some. Hey, it's warm in there. Anyways, that, you could do that, JJ, for the Texans. Yeah. Don't you? Don't you want to do that? Um. Uh. Sure. Yeah, I don't this, guy's a hero. this guy's a hero. Yeah, nice guy. Enough. All right, get a hold of the people at the Houston, Texas. You know them. Hey, uh, JJ will buy all of these seats <laughs> yep. so we don't have to tarp oh, them yeah. off and Full hand price. them out there yeah. in the, yeah. uh, what is it, third, la fourth largest? Where is, third now, I think. What is Houston? F fourth largest city? Yeah. Fourth, fifth? What is it? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's dropping down to number three now. I think we're or drop going up to number three. I think we're popping up. Passing Chicago. Big, big city, yeah. No, no. Just no, keeps no, getting. No. We just kind of keep getting wider and wider of the space. Yeah. Yeah, and the people don't want to drive to the stadium anymore. No, they don't. That's what they're saying. Traffic. Terrible. Traffic good. is terrible in Houston. Yeah.